We'll guide you through how to run and open a jar file. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. So as you can see here, I've got a jar file here. Your jar file may look a bit different to mine as I actually already have something called Java installed. So Java is necessary to run jar files. If you haven't got it already, or if you do have it, keep watching. What you need to do is just go and search for Java like so, or go straight to java.com, just like here. Then what you need to do is click on download Java, and then click on download Java again, and it'll then go and download. Wait for it to finish. Here it is, and all you need to do is go and double click on it, and you just need to go and install it, just like any other application. So click install and go and wait. I've now successfully installed it, as you can see, and we can go and close off of it. So now come to a jar file and go and right click on it, and hover over open with, and click on choose another app. Now what you need to do is scroll down here and find Java TM platform SE binary, select it and go and click on always. And it should then go and run. As you can see, this is something called the Forge installer, which is something for Minecraft, which is a game. So, however, if yours is still not running, then what we need to do is something called a jar fix. And that reassociates jar and Java files. So go and open up your web browser and go and search for jar fix. You can come to this site here at the top by a guy called Johan L. Loffelman, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Then what we need to do is scroll down and you'll see a part called the solution. There's some useful info here and download jarfix.exe. Now go and find what you just downloaded. Here it is and all you need to do is double click on it. You'll get a security pop-up you need to agree to and you should then get this pop-up saying the .jar suffix has been registered successfully. Press OK and that should be it. You should now be able to go and run and open jar files. If you found this useful, then please leave a like.